What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and work on this full face glam right over here. I will be doing a very matte and very like simple everyday kind of look and I'm really liking this so far. This is the last thing that I have before I have my surgery on the 24th. I probably already had the surgery and in recovery when you're watching this video. So definitely keep me in your thoughts and prayers throughout so I can come back and film for you guys as soon as I can because I will be definitely, literally begging to come up here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed Enjoy that for give me a thumbs up and also subscribe before you leave today and without further ado let's get right on to the video so I went ahead and did my brows and prep my skin already just to speed up the process um, BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio is what I have and like always use my Bobbi Brown Foundation Concealer Palette to carve it out. They look beautiful by the way. So I already went ahead and prepped and primed. We're going to go ahead and move on to the highlight. This is Becca Backlight Priming Filter and the shade I have here is, is there a shade? No, no. There is no shade. This is just Becca Backlight Priming Filter. We're just going to go ahead and take that on back of my hand and I'm going to go ahead and take about two pumps and run that all over my face. Crown. This is C502 Jumbo Brush. I'm just going to go ahead and take that and apply. For past two days, I have been in so much pain because I want to be drug free like the week before my surgery, which is next Monday, uh, the 24th, and I have not been taking any pain meds. I am so sober in this video, just FYI. I would have made like one more video uh, prior to this, but uh, I, my pain level is just different every single day and for past two days it's been like wham. So skin is nice, healthy and glowing, really loving that. I'm going to go ahead and take a drugstore foundation. Today I am taking Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, I haven't used this in forever. This is the shade De Desert Beige and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. A little yellow so we're going to go ahead and blend this. I'm not sure what's going on with the camera, like it's turning off on me over and over. Thank you so much for your love on my Anastasia Beverly Hills purple looking um, video, eyeshadow video. <laughs> uh, should I say, I am really really thankful for that. Um, hopefully I will continue filming videos like that, the one you will enjoy so much. So good. I think I'm going to get a little bit more coverage towards my lip and chin area since we did not like uh, conceal them. I am, my skin is a lot more pigmented like where you can see like other shades of colors and veins and stuff so I have to pay extra attention towards my mouth do you guys have skin like that like a certain area that you need to concentrate more and then you still at the end of the day you feel like oh you missed a spot <laughs> all right this looks great and I didn't put so much foundation on my forehead so more of my forehead is a lot more lighter than my rest of the face all right moving on as we're short on time today all right you guys so for the concealer taking tart shape tape haven't used this one as well in a while light medium honey is the shade I'm not gonna overdo it because I just want to keep it very neutral but because we don't have like a full coverage situation on our face and I did not conceal prior so I just thought this concealer would be a great choice like this is pretty much how I debate um, on uh, what kind of product I want to use so since I'm in rush what I'm gonna do is whatever excess product I have left onto my beauty blender I will take that onto my lid and work that as my eyeshadow base I usually don't do that but I will do that because I have probably about like 30 more minutes to wrap everything up and be out the door Regardless where I am going, I'm meeting at home or outside my favorite restaurant, whatever it is, I have no appetite whatsoever. I do not want to eat anything. You can bring me burrata, you can take me to my favorite restaurant, like nothing makes me want to eat. Like I have been probably losing a lot of weight because of that. I don't know if it, that has anything to do with the health condition. Right, I'm going to go and take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Actually, I feel like this is taking a really big toll on to my health. There are days when I'm super, super angry for no reason. There are days when I am super, super pumped up like today. I guess probably because I'm not in pain today as much as I was in past two days. Like, you don't want to talk to me. 
For the rest of the face, I'm going to go and take NYX Cosmetics Stay Matte but Not Flat Foundation Powder. This one is in Warm Beige. It is a full coverage powder, you guys, and I also want to let you know it has a little bit of sheen to it. So it actually makes your foundation or your skin looks like you have nothing on. Like it has that glow to it and I really, really love that. So I don't think I'm ever going to stop using it unless NYX leaves me no choice. Unless NYX does something different about this or stop carrying it. Like these are the only reason why I would stop using this. This is amazing powder. I would highly recommend you guys at least watching it in the Ulta store. This is a must have in your collection. I'm going to take Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. It's my favorite, you guys. Really wanted to own the one in the white packaging, but they were always out. So now that I have this, obviously they have that in the stock. So I'm like, oh my goodness. Has something to contour taking Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Nobody ever talks about it anymore. I feel like if you really love the product as an influencer, they should still be part of your daily getting ready routine or at least every other to third video just so we know for sure that you do love them like I think if I love a product they house at my filming station like I do not want to put them away so I really really like that so I'm just going to oh my gosh I just love this I I love Anastasia's uh, contour kit as well but I feel like this is better for my skin tone the color wise the shade I use from Anastasia is the medium one and that still doesn't match dark one would be a bit too dark and light one would be a bit too light and this just perfect I just love that and that's another reason why I opt in for this one more than that one or any other should I say with the brightening powders that are in here just very lightly and clean up the bronzer and contour and that just cleans everything for me so everything is nice and precise and brightened but I'm still gonna go with my um, Laura Mercier brightening powder which is my fave the shade I have here is golden hour you guys I really love this stuff um, not too many people are fond of it but just a very little amount um, will do like it'll brighten your under eye look at this my skin is glowing already i love that but i only like to apply this under my eyes and wherever pretty much i highlight it but not so much because then you will look ashy for the blush you guys taking two face this is the baby love shade and i'm gonna go ahead and just use that I have this Invisible Glow. This is by Bare Minerals in Tan. It's supposed to be a highlight a tad bit dark, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay that on top of my bronzer so it gives me that sheen. So I'm going to take that onto the bronzer brush and just apply. Okay, that's nice. I like this product, but I don't love it because it's not my shade, but then it makes my bronzer glow from heaven, so love that. All right, I'm going to go and take Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette for this natural glam that I'll be doing. It is going to be a natural one. I'm going to go and take this natural shade right over here and work that into my crease. The brush I'm taking is Sigma Ta Always drop something. The brush I'm taking Sigma E35. Love this brush. Just going to go and work that magic. That is beautiful. I'm gonna go and take the shade called Duchess, which is the dark chocolate color, into the crease, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. And I'm gonna take that very little and mainly concentrating towards the outer corner, as you guys can see. I'm going to take, this is a smaller blending brush, E45 by Sigma, and taking the chocolate color onto the, just the tip of it and applying that to the lower lash line. For the main lid color, I'm going to go and take this very light beige shade and apply that. I'm going to go and take Kept One Dish in Light Palette. This is the Eye Contour Kit. I'm going to go and take Matte Black Shadow from this. I'm going to go and work that along my lower lash line. Just a tad bit. And the top lid because we're going to skip the liner. 
ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy and the shade I have here is Beeper. All right, while the lashes are drying, I'm gonna go and take the shade called Crown from this very same palette, which is a very beautiful, it almost gives you that dual finish and I love that about that. Everything is matte, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this into the inner corner and also highlight my brow bone with that. Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Dandelion Benefit Cosmetics, I have to think, <laughs> Benefit Cosmetics Dandelion Highlighter, and I really love this. I love the way it smells, and we're gonna go ahead and go right with it. So I am taking that onto a Crown Brushes Highlighter brush. What am I saying? I am taking that onto a Crown Brush Highlight brush, I'm taking that onto a Crown C501 highlighting brush and instant glow. Alright you guys, so this right here is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did and I'll subscribe to my channel and I'll definitely see you guys later. Bye bye.